pranked your mates and not been pranking the public. So that if you, you can do your pranks, you can have your ideas, but you do it with your mates. I mean, look, you're staring at me, but I think it's a legitimate question, isn't it? I've, I've got a question for you, Mizzy. Now, do you think that social media itself has pushed you to sort of make this point in itself? I mean, I know you're talking about anti-racism. You're effectively what I would say you're attempting to be an anti-racism campaigner, right? You're essentially trying to tell people that racism has meant that you have experienced a particular kind of backlash that other people haven't. Would, would you say that's right? Essentially, yes. Are you... Hang on a second. Are you somebody who will only answer questions if they go your way? No. OK, so in that case, can you answer my question about whether you believe that you are part of a narcissistic society that is willing to take the benefit from notoriety but not willing to accept the damage that's done in the creation of that notoriety? I've accepted the damage I've done. I went to prison for a couple of days and yeah. whatnot. I literally accept... Like, like I'm saying, Mizzy and Bakari are two... Like, Bakari's the mastermind behind Mizzy. In real life, I know what Mizzy's doing is going to cause real-life consequences and actions. I've been on tag. I'm on tag for a year right now. I understand that it's going to cause real-life problems, but that's not the bigger... Uh, there's a bigger issue at hand here. Why am I even here? Like, actually, like, we're actually talking for a while. Why am I here? You could be talking about anything else. Train strikes, um, world hunger, because anything. Because you you've caused a you lot of people then? to be very upset. Yeah. That's why you're here. That's why that's you're why. so famous. And there is a, there is a real it's concern. because you've there caused a, a lot let, of people. Let's just be clear. There is a real concern here that that social media is, uh, is, 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 is projecting people to the top who actually are behaving in a way that's unacceptable in our society. Look, if you're attempting to make a protest, make a protest. I understand that. You saw me debate with Animal Rebellion a second ago about the fact that they should be holding placards rather than attempting to stop the Epsom derby. My worry, and it is a real worry, is that somebody like you who's clever, somebody like you who's able, somebody like you who has access to social media and is capable of doing all sorts of things is instead being pushed into the notoriety of criminality in order to, to, to get where you are in society. I think it's really dangerous, and I think that whether you yourself are a good or bad person, what you represent is very, very bad. And that's the whole point of it. What Mizzy represents is very, very bad. It's a social media persona. I'm showing you yeah, guys... But remember, that is you. You intend to then use that for good Yes, then? of course. This, like, that message at the start was part of the plan. Like, I don't need to speak more further on what anything... So yeah, you, you now have a platform. Said, yeah, the slight problem is... The slight uh, problem, is, you guys the slight problem is, when you talk about yourself in the third person, remember, both of these people are you. So I know this go, at the end of the day. I'm not saying this. I'm saying that social media and real life are different things. When you turn around and go, I accept that what Mizzy does is very bad. I accept that Mizzy has upset people. I accept that Mizzy's guilty of criminal it's literally you right it's literally right. you therefore therefore what you are basically saying is you are doing something that i've seen so many times in our modern society so, so many, many times. times this is what i'm trying to show you guys it's a cycle like literally it's a formula social media is a game in itself that's right you guys and are playing the game it. and, and i'm proving it right now i'm proving it and you, and you, you, and you, you were successful i don't have to prank ever again i don't have to prank ever again the media has called me a prank you've proved you've proved you proved that by being narcissistic by going on the attack by pushing people into a road by invading somebody's house by uh, upsetting your mum, who apparently doesn't even speak to you, by upsetting your sisters. See, who that's because speak me and my mum still speak now. Apparently, it's what the media but portrays, but bro. You, said, all, you literally uh, told Piers Morgan. I told Piers Morgan, and obviously, ever since then, ever since then, literally, see, even that, even that, let's even talk about that yeah, now. Forget everything yeah, else. Let's talk okay. about that. Yeah, let's my mum has never spoken to press. So, so, are you willing? No, listen, you're saying that's made up. Yes, that's made Oh, my days. You can even. That's made up. I can call my mum right now. I can call my mum right now. My mum doesn't. Yes, that's made up. My mum and don't speak. So, 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 so she literally stepped out of her house and a guy took a picture of her. And then I that saw an interview else. where you that literally said... That is proof of racism I right there, though. What is that, bro? I why saw an, interview. I saw an interview where you literally said that your mum's not speaking to you and your sisters don't like everything they do that you do, but they still are speaking to you. Were you lying? No, at the time, no. <sighs> I, and it doesn't matter what so, I was not speaking so, so, to my mum so about. So, just you pulled me up. Me and my mum are fine You pulled me up on an important. I'm not saying that. You pulled me up on an important question because the minor detail of your mum used to not speak to you, but now she does. Okay, so look. So this is look, today's do, mail. Do you mind if I finish this question? The point is this: that what you have proved successfully is that if you go out and you behave really badly, if you go out and you you waste the skills that you've got, uh, your intelligence, your ability to 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 dominate social media, if you use that 
that by upsetting people, offending people, stealing, throwing people into the road, threatening people. Uh, if you do all that, you will make it to the top. You've proved that successfully. But doesn't it also mean that you've done something really bad that's going to encourage other young people to follow your lead? I just I tell you what annoys me about you. You're clearly a nice bloke, right? But the reality is that what you are doing here, there's going to be a thousand young people who go out shoving people into the street, walking into people's houses, stealing people's dogs because they don't have the intelligence but and they don't have the This has been done before. This yeah, has been done finish. before. I let am the first finish. person that let has done finish. this. It's just let a formula. Finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. This ain't the BBC, baby. Right. There's other people who are going to go out and follow your lead. And the reality is, I say to you, you seem like a nice bloke. I'll even buy you a pint after this. But shame on you for encouraging people of lower intelligence than you to behave in this fashion. It's not a movement. It's a grotesque lump of narcissism. Is it not? You've, the movement is real. What is the movement? What is the movement? What are, what are you trying to achieve? We outside in the districts every time. We outside means being outside with your inner self and not letting anyone tell you nothing because no one can tell you anything. You are your own person at the end of the day. So the movement is basically don't give a toss about criminality. Go out, do, what, do what you want. What you don't want. get a proper job. No. Don't get a proper education. What well, you can be, no. you can be like Mizzy. You can wander around, jumping in people's houses, stealing people's dogs, pushing Jewish people into the street, threatening to kill people. Who cares? What does it matter? You can go to prison for a couple of days, even though you have the intelligence to never need to go to prison. You can go to prison for a couple of days, pay the fine, offend your family. Who gives a toss? The UK because laws are weak. TikTok. The UK laws are weak. The UK laws are weak. The UK laws are weak. Simple as. But we can't well, do right. weak okay. you're now being punished for what's happened. Do you know what? I saw a clip when you came out of the prison, and I think I saw a different guy because I think I think you. I do. think we have that. Clip, I think you do we? genuinely have okay, remorse. You, uh, you saw a different guy because I got cloned. No, You've I think we saw, we saw someone who did. Who was at, le at least now we know done. the prisons are. Right, well, gonna... the truth is, what the, the way I see about it, these guys of your age doing a hell of a lot worse, and it might not be on That's TikTok, true. and it might not be for for clicks and for likes, but there are. Th this is this is you being released now. How was how was prison? How was prison? It's not nothing to glorify about, but obviously because of the position I'm in, a lot of people do know me anyway. So. When when I went there, people were coming up to me, just supporting me, saying, "Oh, this and the other, like I'm a fan of you." Oh, so, 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 so no, hang on a second, Reem. Reem, I'm not being funny, but for a guy of your intelligence, the accolade of being the most popular lag on D Wing is hardly, yeah. uh, it's and, hardly yeah, like. It's literally, oh, I'm not, I, I, like I said, I don't glorify it. It's Can not I ask you another question, Missy? I... Missy, on a serious note, are you currently in receipt of benefits? Yes. Uh, so actually, you're working and receiving benefits at the same time. Are you a benefits fraudster? No. So what, what is your justification for saying you're not a oh, benefit so you, fraudster? You don't work no, hang on a second. Work hang on a second. TikTok's a business. No, but I don't work. I okay, don't how much do you earn account. off TikTok? I don't have a TikTok account. I've been banned. I, I, no, okay. I don't earn so, money so, from social so, media. So where, so I don't where you, no money so whilst you're working, media, hang on, whilst you're work. working, whilst you're working for TikTok, making money, were you claiming benefits at that point? No, because I was under 18. Okay. Okay. Shut down, simple. <laughs> yeah, shut down, simple. It was a question. <laughs> Mizzy, I, I've got a question for you. So I know you've said you've spoken a lot about social media and how that's impacted you and that you want to sort of uh, get a lot of this attention on social media yourself. Do you think that you doing this on social media will encourage other people to commit crimes that potentially could cause a lot of damage? And I'm, but by damage, I mean it could cause somebody to, you know, be incredibly injured or something like that. Do you think you've encouraged that kind of behaviour? And he's not answering the question. Do you I think mean, you I, don't, I don't understand this whole? Do you want to be no, like a hey, good hey, 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 No, hang on a second. Hang on a second. You can do that to me. You're not doing it to a guest. You stirred another guest again, and I'm going to personally remove you. I, I'm not taking the mic. I'm not taking the mic. You glared at her in a threatening fashion. You do that, I'll drag you out by the hair, and you can be as hard as you pretend you are. You can be as hard as you pretend you are. You apologise to her right now, or you're you leaving. I respect to you, but I'm done here. Good, good riddance to bad rubbish. Threatening guest does not happen on my show under any circumstances. Reem, I'm very sorry, but the way he glared okay. at you Thank is not you, acceptable. Andrew. We never should have had him on the show. I didn't even want him here. I think the guy's a complete and total fool. And I, the fact that we, the fact that I attempted to have a sensible interview with an idiot like it's that off. is absolutely off. disgusting. Get and him out of here. Security, get, get him out. Get, Get the security from downstairs and get rid of him. Get, get rid of him, for Christ's sake. Do you know what? He's, get rid of him. Oh, 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 he's angry. 